2021. Hi everyone, my name is Lupita and welcome to the Cookie Couture Wear Flavor and Design Collect. Today I'm going to share with you how you can make a rainbow on a decorated cookie using three different techniques. I made this cookie for St. Patrick's Day like maybe 8 or 10 years ago and now I am using some other things that are very in style in cookie decorating like the sweet sticks, watercolor palette and also using edible markers. Okay. If you are new here in my channel, please please don't forget to subscribe and push the notification button and let's get started. I am going to make the rainbows on clouds cookies. I put blue icing in some of them and for the other one I used like a mix of blue and pink to make it like a purple color. I am going to show you how I cover one of the cookies but you can do the same thing for the other cookies as well. Here I have a magic consistency icing and I tint it in sky blue. I'm going to pop up the bubbles and then I'm going to cover my cookie. As you know, sometimes I like to skip the part of outlining my cookies because I use a magic consistency icing that normally is a little thicker than the flooding so it doesn't go all out of my cookie. So I like to put the icing in the center. And then I drag the icing to the edges of the cookie. Now that we have our cookies covered, we're going to let them dry completely. Okay, very good. Now I am going to use an edible marker and I am going to draw some clouds. And I'm going to go to rainbow. Now I am going to use a little bit of natural color icing that I have on a tipless pastry bag. And I am going to make the clouds. And also I am going to mark the rainbow and I am going to fill it up. This is a magic consistency icing so it's a little thicker but it's going to dry very nice and smooth. I want it to be fluffy. I give it a shake and we're going to let it dry. these rainbows is using edible markers so I am going to start by doing you can make them as thin or as thick as you want clouds you can put your frame your royal icing right there directly into your cookie for this other cookie I am going to use my uh, sweet sticks and a very fine brush so I can put all the colors there are here. So I put a little bit of water, I'm going to wait and then I'm going to start painting. Okay, I'm going to start with the pink. You can also use the PYO or paint your own color swatches to make this cookie. And in the description box below I left a link where you can get them. Now I am going to use a black edible marker to make the clouds. For this cookie I am going to start by making the clouds using the natural color icing. For this cookie I am going to use magic consistency icing in different colors like red, pink, yellow, green and blue and I put them in tibless pastry bags. Very good. Now let's compare these three 
rainbows. As you saw, I used different techniques. In this one, I used the edible markers. In this one, I used royal icing. And in this one, I used the sweet sticks um, watercolor palette. And in my own opinion, I love how the royal icing looks. It looks super nice and shiny and a very nice finish. This one doesn't look that, that clean. I think so that the edible marker sometimes doesn't give like a very good coverage when you are going to cover big surfaces. They are very good to put details on cookies, but I don't think so that they are very, very good to cover big areas, okay? And this one, okay, and this uh, that I use the sweet sticks, um, I like the shimmering effect that they have, but I don't love that they are very light and that you need to put a lot to have um, a darker shades of the color. And uh, as you know, I like to use bright colors, but these are very, very good if you are looking for a very subtle or a very pastel color design, they are very, very good. Also, I don't think so that they are very, very good to cover big areas because sometimes it's not very easy to be very precise to get the same amount of paint using a brush. Sometimes you can get a darker shade in here, but then when you follow with your uh, brush, it's gonna get lighter. And if you want to do it again, maybe the color is not going to be even. I think that they are very, very good for kids if they want to paint their own cookies. It's a very easy, no messy technique that the kids are going to love it. And also for details, I think so that these paints are perfect. But my favorite favorite is the royal icing. They look so pretty. They blend together very nice. The color is very even all over. And I think so. The one that is going to be crowned today as royal is the royal icing. Right. But what do you think? Tell me in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching my channel. Okay guys, this is it for today. Please don't forget to subscribe. Push the notification button, follow me on Pinterest, and don't forget to be always very creative in all your baking and particularly in your cookie decorating. See you till next time. Bye!